Oh my, right my feet, dude, right here. Oh my God. Come on, come on, right my feet. <laughs> right there. There we go. Mag darter. All right, guys, just pulled up to the spot, 6.45 now, about 45 minutes later than when I wanted to get my head start for the day, but just absolutely crushed some Wawa coffee as well as some two for four sizzlies. The sun is just coming up right now. Just finished rigging everything up back there. Got the plug bag on, rods already. Did bring the electric bike down actually for the first time getting its fall use. So we'll see how that does. My plan is to just ride up and down the beach looking for fish looking for some fishy spots. It is a pretty chilly day right now. Air temp's like 36 and it's blowing about 25, 30 miles an hour. But hopefully the stripers are biting today. They got into a good bite of them yesterday on Black Friday. I was a little too tired from Thanksgiving to come out here. So hopefully today we get on. I'm not looking for anything crazy, but it's actually my first dedicated surf fishing trip for bass so far this fall. It's been a pretty slow season so far. Again, a pretty late start being as it's a couple days after Thanksgiving, but it's high tide was about an hour ago. So let's get out there, guys. We'll see you on the water. Stay tuned. All right, guys, here we are, the surf fishing mobile. Got the 11 foot setup, pen spin fisher. And hopefully this bike works out for me today. Let's get seated. Let's get to ripping. Oh, well, looks like we found some good action already. Something's blitzing over here. <laughs> that didn't take long at all. Just stumbled upon a good bite, it looks like. Oh yeah, dude. We're on, we're on. Oh my God, what? Oh, he's on, he's on. Dude, fire bite, fire. There we go. No? What, bro? baby right away epic dude epic there we go dude first one of the day Two fish in like 10 minutes. We're blitzing down there again. I'll make one more cast and I'll get back on the move.
how's that for an early morning surprise guys literally first spot i pulled up to absolute bass chaos as far as i can see they're still out there now but they're picking about 100 yards off they're just blowing up everywhere along the beach i'm just kind of scoping out now waiting for those fish to push in but they're literally blowing up as far as my eye can see crazy action i've never seen anything like this they're literally blitzing for miles behind me so really just waiting for them to push in guys hopefully get back on them but nailed two fish right away pretty good start to the day so far so good just got to kind of wait for the bass to cooperate not much else i can do except wait around back in the car now guys the blitzes were kind of just a little too far out of the casting distance went up and down the beach probably 15 miles round trip going i went a little bit south went pretty far north and everywhere i went just chaos but it was all at least 100 to 200 yards out so literally just a couple yards beyond casting distance everyone i saw on the beach wasn't catching anything so had to make it back to the car my waders apparently have a massive leak in the right boot and my right foot right now is completely soaked and numb so crank the heat up as much as possible we're literally full blast 90 degrees air temp is 38 right there I'm trying to recover real quick we're gonna get back on the hunt i'm hoping these fish push in soon i'm only gonna stay here till probably low tide i know i should stay out here all day but i have other plans for tomorrow to hopefully get on those fish that are a little bit far out so right now we're going to nurse this foot buy a new pair of waders that's for sure We'll see what the rest of the day has in store for us. Hopefully it involves a couple more fish. Got something on here, I think. I think I may have snagged a bait fish out of school over there. Yeah, there we go. Check that out, dude. There you go, guys. Check that out. Just cast it off the beach. Found a big old pot of bait. Nothing's blowing up on it yet. There's one bird picking, but snagged two little peanut bunkers off there. Hopefully the fish can find that school of bait because that's what they're eating right there. Bait's still hanging in close. Tiny little baby bunkers, dude. Really praying on a school to find that school of peanuts out there. It'll be lights out. See that big school of bunker right there, literally just waiting on fish to find it. I can't do much with a school of bait and no bass. I'll just keep casting. Hopefully, there's a rogue one around somewhere. Don't see any fish and it looks like all bait. Yeah. There we go. Going up on now. Epic. Need some more fish. Oh my god.
Mega Blitz, guys. We're on it. We're on it, dude. All right, guys, just look around right now. It's literally me and this other guy. I went down to take a nap. I woke up in chaos. I've been stalking this school bunker for a couple hours and it's going crazy everywhere. Whole beach, even down there, right in front of me though. It's going off. So gnarly. Oh my God. I know, man, I can't get a bite. On the chase, on the chase. Go right here, right at the feet. Oh my God. Oh my, right at my feet, dude, right here. Oh my God. Come on, come on, right at my feet. <laughs> right there. There we go. Mag darter. Oh, nice. There we go. Little rat right at my feet. Sick. He ate it like literally six inches away. See, bud. Oh man. Epic. I was following this school for an hour. I took a nap and then I woke up and they were blitzing. Our little bunker. See you, dude. Keep losing them. Hooks are a little too old, I guess. Dang it. And on that note, folks, gonna wrap up today's video. Just a really cool day out there, surf casting off the beach. Did not expect to get into any blitzes that day. Just expected to kind of just walk up and down the beach, see what I could find, and ended up getting into one blitz right off the bat at sunrise, and then getting into another really solid blitz in the afternoon. Unfortunately for me and my fellow surf casters out there, the bait was really concentrated and there weren't too many stripers mixed in, so it made for a tough, tough time finding that one bite, but Still managed to catch a couple of fish throughout the day and definitely learned a lot out there on the water as you always should. So thanks for tuning in today's video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you guys could hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Really appreciate it. Helps boost the videos a lot and really trying to grow the channel here. So thanks for tuning in. See you in the next one. Peace out. Tight lines, baby.